boss. I have the report on the latest security detail we covered. Yes, the one up in California. We covered a job for their security firm run by the local pack, and they've gone ahead and sent us some details on another job. If we're interested. The clients for this one seem to be pretty up there. We've gotten a few other jobs like this recently as well. I won't beat around the bush, boss, but does this have something to do with Mr. Lacroix? Are we finally talking about him? Oh my god, what are you doing here? I've been waiting to finally talk about that Adonis guy the boss has been seeing. And no one else has mentioned it, but when you did. Of course, the gossip hound would come running. This was a private discussion, Jasper. We don't need you intervening. Okay, but it's also a company matter. And as the boss's secretary, I should be privy to the validation of the boss's contacts to ensure their safety. The times you choose to actually take your job seriously are baffling to me. Baffling or fortunate? Definitely baffling. No, actually, we should talk about this, because that would be the third time you and him have been hanging around each other, and I want to know the details. Ignoring Jasper, I did want to confirm that Adonis was good company, so I went ahead and did some research and had a dossier prepared. What did you find out? Again, do you have to be here? Boss? Can I please be here? Fine. I do think that we should be discussing this, boss. Adonis Lacroix is a very high-profile contact and has many connections that we can utilise, but among this are some shady figures, like Dion York, a New York crime boss, and, arguably worse, Mr Lacroix has had dealings with the US Hunters and Controllers Association. Yikes. Isn't he, like, in entertainment, though? Even people in entertainment don't keep their hands clean. Also, Dion owns clubs, and one of these establishments, the Devil's Tongue, has been put under investigation for carrying ambrosia around. Double yikes. Exactly. And before we came around, Adonis had hunters working as security for him. The optics don't look good here. It's one thing to be messing around with drug dealers, but hunters are a whole other case. We get tangled in with that and we could be seeing some trouble. I hate to agree with Jasper, but they make a point. Hey! Boss, is it legitimate for us to be working with this man? I think that's Cassidy. Sorry, I should have been there to talk to him. Surprise! You're not doing your job. And miss out on this conversation? Understood, boss. Yeah, boss. Hey, boss. I don't know if you like this guy or not, but I get where Odette's coming from. I want the business to go well, but be careful about it. If this Adonis guy is anything like what Odette said, then... Right. Just looking out for you. Seems like we're having an interesting conversation. I see. From outside, it sounded like Jasper was being himself, and Odette was concerned. Despite what those two think, they're not the quietest in the building. The whole office downstairs could hear them. Oh, they were talking about you and that Adonis boy well before this conversation even happened. We were just quiet about it so Jasper wouldn't go blurting about all over. They mean well, and you know it. 
Odette looks like she's focused on the optics, but this is also her way of checking in with you. I don't need to tell you how Jasper is. You know that man better than me. <laughs> you wanna talk about all that? I'm here as your head of security and your cousin. If you don't want to talk about it, then we don't have to. What's on your mind then? When you ask if you're making the right decision, what decision do you mean? Well, in terms of actual benefits, it seems like you are. Adonis has been giving us more jobs and it's been helping to keep us afloat more. We've also built up more of a profile and if we get some more like this, then I'm sure we'll be set up to be running on our own. Does this feel right to you? I mean that at the end of the day, we're not sleeping with Adonis. You are. You're getting to know him. Does he feel right to you? <laughs> then I suppose you'll have to figure that part out. It's all well and good if you're confident that you can get out of this and stay, then... But... Don't put yourself in the fire to help this business grow. It's not going to be worth anything to make something if you burn away at who you are for it. My cousin is a tough cookie who does what's best for everyone. They have a good heart and make the decisions they believe in. I trust them to do what they think is right. Do you trust yourself? Good. Now, I actually came here to tell you that it's lunch time and you promised me that you were going to check out that new Italian place with me. So, are we going? Good. Because you look like you need something in that stomach of yours before you go inside.